Gentleman yields back. The chair now recognizes the Congresswoman from Texas, Ms. Jackson Lee, for five minutes. I thank the chair very much. And sadly, I rise to indicate that domestic terrorism is on the rise in America. We have all faced uh, the tragedies of terroristic acts by our fellow Americans, chiefly, of course, the January 6th insurrection which it is so striking to me that people want to dumb down the language used. It was insurrection by uh, terrorists who happened to be Americans. We focused on 9-11. Uh, the very uh, action of terrorism was associated internationally. I was in this place, in this capital on 9-11, in a meeting on 9-11, as we fled this building, uh, clearly looking as I went to the right uh, to escape uh, what we thought was an imminent attack on this building by foreign terrorists, I could see the billowing black smoke of the plane that had just hit the Pentagon. It is real, uh, and January 6th is real as well. And so it is important that we as members of Congress address this for the nation. One, it was real in Colleyville for my fellow uh, Texans as they were attacked in their synagogue, their place of worship how horrific anti-Semitism is, and I stand against it, as I stand against the horrors of representing what critical race theory is, which it is not in any way uh, an uh, attempt to create racist divide. It is a college phenomenon. It is a uh, higher grad phenomenon. It is not teaching our elementary school children about George Washington Carver or the history of African Americans or slavery or the importance of passing H.R. 40, the commission to study slavery and develop a repair response, reparations, not anything that is uh, going to uh, not stand on its own about the wonderment of our history and uh, acknowledging the original sin. But I rise today uh, to speak of the dastardly behavior of the numbers of historically black colleges in this month who have now received bomb threats. This is not something to take lightly. It is not something to ignore. Uh, and it is not something uh, that we, as members of Congress, parents who can understand the frightening prospect of parents who send their children to school, just as it was certainly frightening to have two officers in the Virginia College shot dead. We don't know what the facts are in that, uh, but certainly that is uh, a, an extreme action to shoot dead. And one of the witnesses said that when the officer was down, this perpetrator shot them dead blank again. How outrageous. What could it be? I speculate. We don't know what it is. But I call upon, uh, as we are in the midst of a hearing with Homeland Security, I call upon Homeland Security uh, and those uh, reinforced uh, entities dealing with social media, but as well, I think the FBI should specifically focus on domestic terrorism with a more enhanced and reinforced section of agents uh, that are dealing both with social media, but also dealing more vigorously uh, with uh, an action that seems to be a collective action. So I want to put into the record, tragically, uh, the colleges, uh, Russ College, Tougaloo College, Jackson State, Alcorn State, uh, as well as Mississippi Valley State, Fort Valley State, Spelman, jo uh, Morgan State, Coppin State, uh, Harris Stowe University, Kentucky State, Javier, uh, Xavier uh, University, Philander Smith, Edward Waters University, Howard University, the University of the District of Columbia, and I'll put into the record this article from the Washington Post, but my real point is that we need to get serious about domestic terrorism. The lives lost through domestic terrorism uh, is compelling and increasing. And until we get serious about the actions of the Oath Keepers and the Boogaloo Boys uh, and the uh, Nazi wearers and proponents, uh, in light of the First Amendment, which I highly respect as a member of the Judiciary Committee, but we are losing lives, our children are in jeopardy, misrepresentation occurs about innocent discussion about race uh, and history. Let us put that kind of attack aside and let us find a way to deal with domestic terrorism to save lives in America. I thank the chairman uh, for this time, the speaker, uh, and I hope that I will draw upon my colleagues. I'll be introducing legislation uh, as I've done on dealing specifically uh, working on this idea of bomb threats to universities, in this instance, bomb threats uh, to historically black colleges last week and coming into this week, and God knows 
uh, what will be next. I pray for their safety, as I do all students and all Americans, but we must stand up against domestic terrorism. I yield back.